Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Ellie and I'm a stay-at-home mom who makes a budget and sells stuff online. On today's video, I have a haul from two visits to the Goodwill store. I went on two Tuesdays, which is their dollar days, trying to see if I could find anything good worth for a dollar. And I did find a couple of things, but most of them were not one dollar. At my Goodwills on the dollar days, it's not all the items that are the color of the week. It's only specific categories. The first Tuesday that I went, it was coats, jackets, and blazers. And on the second one, it was formal gowns, dresses, and children's clothing. So I'm gonna show you what I got and I'll let you know what item was a dollar. First off, we have this Forever 21 yellow blazer. And I picked it up because it was a dollar, but also, I mean, Forever 21 is not a brand that I recommend, but the color was just beautiful, perfect for spring and it's a size large so that's why i got it and it's in great condition and it looks like sturdier than the typical forever 21 pieces next we have this loft size 12 with the freight detail is this a tweed i'm not i never sure if this is a tweed but it's an open front blazer and it's a great carrier staple and it's a size 12 so another great great pickup for a dollar and the last blazer i got is this zara basic it's just a black blazer and the size is small one button a little bit of a long line and you can cuff the sleeves so that's what i got for a dollar Next, on this first trip, the items that I got that were not a dollar. I got this fix scrub top, size medium, and I've never found this brand before. Apparently, it's um, a well-known, better-known brand, so I'm excited to try it. I've never seen it before. I don't know if the value has gone down because I think at some point last year, the company got in trouble. I don't know if it was like an advertisement they did or something along those lines but you know I've always been trying to find it and so the first time so let's see next I found this on a new rack and I have a hard time saying no to anthropology and especially anthropology with novelty prints so I got this maid dress and it's this quarter sleeve sort of like I don't know tunic style empire baby doll waist type dress and it's a size medium and it's a beautiful color and it has like the, I don't know what kind of bird that is, but I picked it up. It's really cute and it has pockets, which is great. Next, we got this dress from the brand Wait, and it's a extra large and it's this beautiful uh, midi length surplice short sleeve dress. And the cuffs for this brand were really good. So I got it and it's a great size and it's just beautiful for spring. Here we have a Diane von Furstenberg wrap dress. It's silk and it's this sort of, I don't know, like leaf floral like abstract print. And the size is size 10, which is a great size. And Diane von Furstenberg the best are the vintage dresses, but you know, this is just a beautiful dress. It's a great size and it's hundred percent silk. So I'll definitely be selling this and we'll see how we, how it does. Okay. Here we have a Notori slip pajamas or nightgown and it's new with tags, which is awesome. And this, the retail value is $78. And I saw the comps for this and it's like around 38. So picked it up to try it, you know, since it was new with tags. Here we have a, and other stories. And this is a, sorry, is this eyelet? Yeah, it's eyelet pink blouse with a little like ruffle detail and like the cap sleeves with the little ruffles and i thought this was really cute great for summer and what size is this 
this is a size 10 which is a great size so let's see how it does and other stories it has it has a good resale value at least the stuff that i've sold which is like a sweater and it sold for a nice amount another item that i got is this tory birch size 14 top and Tory Birch clothing doesn't do as well as like their handbags and shoes, but I thought it was just very cute. I like the color. I have a Tory Birch shirt on my closet, but it's been sitting for a long time and it's actually silk, but it's like an iCat print, which is outdated. So, or is it like, yeah, iCat, it's like an iCat chevron, which is like super outdated. But this is more classic, you know, with the floral print and the color is beautiful. I love this color. So this is like a great career blouse. And I believe, I'm not 100% sure, but I think this might be the older tag. Okay. Next, I picked up this cabbie. And I believe this is a newer tag. And it's a size small. It's a cardigan. And it has like the collar blocking, like yellow in the front and gray in the back. And then it has like this inlay detail. So it's kind of like a, is it like a shirt? Yeah, it's kind of like, a, it's, yeah, it's kind of like a shirt slash cardigan. But I picked it up because the color is beautiful. I really liked it, like the popped up color and the comps were decent for this one. And then I did go around the denim section, which I usually don't. But, you know, trying to see if I found any like brands that um, I've never seen before and have great, great resale value. So first off, I found these democracy jeans in a size 20w and these jeans have this technology called absolution which i'm not sure what it does maybe like holds in your like belly area but it's like these i don't know skinny jeans in a plus size and you know they look in great condition and it's a plus size so let's see how it does but i've heard that this has a good resale value this is called Barbell Apparel. They're a size 26. Oh, what does it say? Las Vegas, Nevada. Hmm, maybe it's from Las Vegas. And it has like this is the tag in the back. And the comps for this brand were really good. This is, these are skinny jeans, which is like not great, but they're in excellent condition. And the comps for this brand were great. So I'm excited to try and see how it does. And the next clothing item for, from this trip is these Zara pants. And this is the newer tag. And it's this um, kind of like punk rock academia style plaid pants. In red with the cool zipper de detail. They're pull on. They have the elastic. And I think this will do great. And they look really cool. Maybe not for the spring and summer, but you know, someone will love them, I think. Next, we have the items from my second trip to the Goodwill, and on this day, it was $1 for the dresses. So let's see what I found. I found this H&M size 8, what is it, 8, like dress, little shell dress with the little sheer sleeves. And I thought it was very cute, very classic. So for a dollar, why not? Like some H&M dresses do well. I mean, not for much, but like $15. But you know, turning $1 into 15, that works for me, so. Next we got this Loft Petite, what is this? Uh, size, where is it? Too Petite Linen Dress. And I think I've sold this dress before, but in like a tan or ecru cream color and it has like this sort of like in back detail that is really pretty so i just thought it was a really beautiful color like a purple eggplant color and great material it's like a nice dress if you're attending like a summer wedding like an outdoor summer wedding next i got this and i've never heard of this brand before like kate and it has a tag that says as is extra large i don't know where this is from but it's just a sleeveless um 
what is this kind of dress called? Tent? Shift? I'm not sure, but it's cute. It's a nice flowy dress in a beautiful color. So for a dollar, I'll try that out. Next, we have this Express uh, Maxi dress, like boho style halter dress. Like you, it has like the tassels that you put around your neck. And I thought it was very cute and it's a size small. So, you know, great for summer, great if you're going to the beach or on your beach vacation. Here we have something, let's see. This is Donna Rico, size 14W. And this one, I, well, I, I didn't check the comms, but the colors are beautiful. And I might send this to thread up if the comms are not that great. Because I have a box that's gonna go soon. And then this one, it's kind of like a Hawaiian tropical style maxi dress that you button in the front. And it has like the mother of pearl button. And the brand is, what's the brand? BFA Classics. 100% rayon, made in Indonesia. So, who knows? It's really cute. It's kind of like a, like a bata. You, your moms and grandmas wear those. Or my grandma used to. I just like a long dress coat. Unfortunately, no pockets, which is a shame because a missed opportunity but it's really cute like i love the color and it's great for anyone who's going to like a vacation to hawaii okay the next dress is this this wasn't on the dress rack this was like someone put it on the pj rack which is next to the dress rack so they probably looked at it and they just put it on the pj rack which is like messed up like the dress rack is right there just like turn around whatever lane bryant size 16 and it's this beautiful red uh, three-quarter sleeve dress with the lace and it's lined and I just you know for a dollar I can say no it's just a beautiful dress and Lane Bryant doesn't really done that great for me but I know I think it's a beautiful piece so it should be okay and then here is Torrid which I love to pick up it's a great brand size 4 and it's this cute pop over shell top with the minty ice cream and I just noticed it has a stain which is not great I'm trying to avoid picking up things with stains but sometimes you miss them because the goodwill lighting is just not good and my location doesn't have a lot of windows so you don't get natural light and the last dress which is for thread up this is cheetah b with this career dress with like the ruffles Next, we have um, the accessories and shoes and hard goods that I got. So first off, I have this bag, which the brand is Sharif. I'm not sure if you can see it right there, Sharif. And definitely not my style, but I have to say, I love the colors. It's really beautiful, and it has this like alligator or crocodile. I'm not sure. One of those. You know, print, and also this one has like like a chevron type texture here and you know the condition is great and I've never seen this brand before but it was a pretty bag so I looked it up and the colors that I saw the store there was one that sold for like 126 and so I picked it up because it was the color of the week so I got it but then when I got home and I checked the comps were like 35 45 but you know sometimes you just want to have like you know, stuff with a beautiful pop of color in your closet. And I don't know, we shall see how it does. Great summary. Next, we have this lug. Let me see the name here. Crossbody bag with like a quilted detail and like the flap. And it even has like the paper in here. So I don't know if it's like new and never used. But um, Lug is like a great bag uh, company that does like bags for traveling and commuting and stuff like that. So, I mean, the comps for the crossbodies, like at least this size weren't that great. But I'm debating about just keeping it for myself. It's really cute. Like it's something that you can use as a clutch. Not that I go anywhere where you need a clutch, but you know, whatever. 
anyways i thought it was cute this is a you know great brand for people who like travel a lot so that'd be a nice pickup next i got some mugs i got this starbucks las vegas mug 99 cents i got this winnie the pooh mug made in thailand for 1.99 and this mickey mouse oh boy mug for 1.99 as well and now the shoes on the first trip i got these um flip-flops what are these like clogs and these are the clogs that you like have this style where you can like push it in and you like step in it and like it but you know these are a size what's the size what's in here it's a size seven so i found this i mean they're in really good condition and then i found these which is like also a size seven so the same person donated both shoes and they were both in great condition so and you know flip flops like some people just love their brand so they tend to know what they're buying then i found these echo and echo is a very expensive shoe brand and they are like these outdoor i don't know like hiking shoes and they have like gore-tex and anything with gore-tex is great so even like walmart brand shoes that have gore-tex is worth picking up i mean don't pay up for it but yeah <laughs> and they have like this thing here so that they look brand new so yeah i mean it's a nice pickup and then the last thing when i was browsing the shoes i saw it and i just grabbed it and threw it in my cart and you know stuffed it in the bottom and it's these rothy's these rothy slip-on sneakers and these were 9.99 and they're like in great condition i mean just a little dirty like on the white part but when i and they're my size i try them on they fit but you know when i first saw them like the wait let me take this out let me take this piece out okay so with Rothy, Rothy's, I don't know if you can see right here, to make sure it's original, this center part can't be touching the circle. And also, I know like the measurement of the word Rothy's matter, but then usually on Rothy's, like on the flats, like the size tag sticker will be here. So these didn't have it and I was like picking out. I mean, worst case scenario, I would keep them for myself. But then I asked on a Rothy's group and they told me that this part comes out. So here's the tag. And make sure it says made in China, which these do. And also like the color, it has this like shiny, like textured to it. So it means that it's real. So I guess I will be selling these. I'm not keeping them for myself, which is a shame, but you know. Oh well but anyways that's what i got so these are the items that i got you know on my little tuesday trips to goodwill trying to find stuff for a dollar as you can see you know i did get some stuff for a dollar but not that much but um let's see how everything does but i'm very excited because of the shoes that i got on this trip if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you like budgeting and reselling content consider subscribing i post here every week i will see you soon thank you bye